Hello and welcome to this midweek special by Decagon Development. Now I've been uh, speaking to somebody in the comments on one of my uh, old videos and one of my old videos was um, installing a Vundal set of plugins into Vim. Now, okay, that that was a fairly long video for what it was. It should have been about two minutes worth of stuff, but it ended up being like a seven minute video. So I decided what I'll do, I'll try and consolidate a few of those older videos as one video this time around. So first I'm going to actually do that git install that a few people have been asking me about. So I'll leave a link in the description to this and for this I've got 32 bit windows but if you've got 64 bit windows then you click on this link but right now I'm just going to click on this link here. It's a 32 bit one. So that's got about a minute to download so I'll see you in a second. Okay, that's downloaded, so I'm just going to click on it here. Click run. I'll tell it to not always ask because that's rather annoying at times and say yes to the UAC. I'm just going to click next, next, and then on here it says about like doing git bash and all that stuff. Yeah, I like the true type fonts in all console windows as well. So I'm going to click next and next. I do like using Vim as my editor, so I'll click next on that. Uh, what I want to do is use git and optional unix tools from the windows command prompt next and use open ssl library next check out windows style commit unix style line endings next uh, use mini tty default terminal mcs yep that'll do next uh, enable symbolic links next oh well sorry install not next I'm kind of I'm in one of those whole next, next, next sort of situations, you know what I mean? And then it'll kind of go through its installation stuff, extracting the files, etc, etc. Okay, so that finished installing and I clicked run git bash and this comes up. Uh, it starts off sort of um, quite small like that, I think, the text. So I've just held down control and used my middle scroll wheel to make it nice and large so you can read it now what I want to do is I want to run Vim just to say okay we have Vim and it's version 8.0 so let's quit out of that so next thing I'm going to do is the vimrc file in git bash is literally dot vimrc so what we're going to do is we're going to create that so touch dot vim RC. A little bit different to our previous versions of Windows ones. Now if we do vim.vimrc, we can test that it's working for definite by going into insert mode and saying um, set number. This will just kind of, if it's working, it'll have a number one next to it next time we run. So I'll control WQ to write and quit. Now go back in, look, oh, we have a number one. So that is now our resource file for Vim. And very simply, uh, I'll have a link in the description to this page here, which is a quick start for installing Vondel, which is a wicked package manager. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna literally copy this actual whole line of code here and paste it into git bash. Oh, once we're actually out of um, Vim, of course. Let's paste that, enter. Now it's cloning it into the actual home directories dot vim folder in the correct place. Straight away, really quick and easy. Now we're gonna do the vimrc file editing. Now again, if you've got a load of stuff in your vim file that you've already put in, then that's a whole different case. Uh, but basically if you just go to the end of everything you've done for now, and go to the quick start you can copy this whole thing now a lot of this going to need to delete technically the things what you do want is stuff like set no compatible and stuff like that's nice the rtp and calling the begin and end of bundle so i'm going to literally just copy the whole thing and delete what i don't need so let's copy that go to there uh, make sure i'm in insert mode yep paste and there we go now I'm going to get rid of a few things here uh, a couple of these are going to make it crash but 
the main issue at the moment for me is I don't necessarily need all this stuff so I'm going to press escape twice start pressing DD to delete literally lines so DD let's have a look I don't want those DD 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 don't want that DD 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 we have to have this this is absolutely required otherwise you haven't got the actual bundle bundle manager I think okay let's get rid of that let's get rid of some of these that's fine now insert mode just to insert a nice little line there here's our bundle end that's just saying that the plugin indents on right okay so now we have a nice little setup now this is a culmination of the first and the second videos in a series what I made on my old channel of installing Vundle and also the next one installing the Fugitive uh, plugin so there's both there I can do both at the same time now to do this I'm gonna WQ let's write and quit and then go back in now this time colon plugin install enter so it's installed Vondal it's now working on the other one and it's done there's how simple it is uh, that took what maybe five ten minutes whatever I know it's probably actually a longer one than you'd need to but it's got all of those things in at the same time so now if I just quit that quit that and we're done now you can add loads of different stuff in there I mean I do have a large set of um, plugins what I use on my installations and I will try and get into doing that and go through all the plugins in a future video but for now I think I'll just keep it fairly short and fairly sweet um, I will do a few shout outs in a moment to uh, people who have subscribed and stuff like that but other than that thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the epilogue and welcome to the epilogue thanks a lot for staying and watching this bit it really does help now this one's well first off we have our shout outs to the new subscribers thanks a lot for all your support um, we have Mohaldi xtkj3 i believe thanks a lot for that mate uh sana hussein hussein so thanks a lot and news updates uh lewis Baritik, uh, Ram Kumar, uh, Dull Streaming, St Stream Mining, Stream, yeah, Streaming with two ends. Um, also, uh, Lensa Kawa, I um, hope I'm pronouncing these things right by the way, uh, The Aussie Gamer, uh, Mahabil Il, or it might be El Mahabil, I don't know the um, forward or backward on the whole left to right speech um, and Antonio Caballero thanks a lot guys for all the um, support and your support is really appreciated and it kind of it drives me to make these videos you know what I mean it kind of psychs me up and gets me there and uh, this is a midweek video as uh, I said it's another midweek special because I got asked about making a git um, video so I kind of made it a roll up of a few different videos into one because I thought, you know, they, they, otherwise they'd have like a two minute video and you'd be like, oh, but seriously, why bother? So I kind of popped them all together and made this one. Uh, now, again, things to look forward to on this Friday coming, we've got the next uh, website development video in the series. Uh, that's not actually finished rendering yet, but I'll finish rendering that and it'll be up before Friday. Well, it'll be up and I'll schedule it before Friday and it'll be up on Friday. Um, preferably around about eight ish maybe 10 I don't know or somewhere in between there um, so that's for that and um, I think you, you'll enjoy the next one I think it was it's getting there and starting to really take shape 
Now, again, if you really wanted to um, support me uh, with more than just likes and uh, things, there's a Patreon page that I've got up now. I'm doing a uh, Patreon, just started it, so there's no real uh, mad stuff going on there. It's just like starting. But my goal at the moment is like $100 a month, which should actually uh, make me be able to do like special series where I can interview like one of the Patreons every month. So we'll talk about whatever you'd like to see in the upcoming episodes and stuff. And we'll maybe have a Skype meeting and sort of talk about stuff and make a whole video out of it and do it as an interview video and see what you guys want to see. So that's that's my main goal for this um, Patreon thing is to give me the time to it'll basically, basically it'll give me the time to be able to actually sit there and do these things. You know what I mean? So that's basically this. Uh, you'll see new posts of my uh, this midweek special is going to be posted there now in, as soon as it's actually um, finished rendering and uploaded. So you'll see all new sort of stuff and also as a Patreon you'd have access to certain things that are going to be like uh, there's going to be well, if you if you have a little read of the uh, stuff and what all the different tiers get, you can see all that there. So the links in the description for this and all the other bits and pieces to do with this video. Again, thanks a lot for your support, guys, and have a great day.